Hey guys, for all our subscribers and everybody coming back, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're gonna do a full ship tour of the Carnival Miracle. Alright guys, welcome back. Today is our last sea day above the Carnival Miracle. Uh, so we're gonna make our way to brunch now. It's oh, and Danny's gonna hide us some ducks. I wonder where. Find a good spot, Danny. We're gonna do some duck hiding this morning. We're gonna go to brunch. We're gonna do a uh, probably a full ship tour. So we're gonna take you around with us, show you all the different restaurants and how this ship is all set up. Come with us as we have fun hiding ducks and do a ship tour. Bye, cutie. Well, hopefully whoever finds the ducks actually gets to watch the YouTube video. So we're gonna start our day in the main dining room at brunch. Hi, mommy. Mommy's trying to take pictures of us. It's one of our favorite things to do on the sea day. Usually they have one brunch uh, per sale, sometimes two if it's a longer cruise. And can't wait to show you the food. One of my favorite things to eat here when I go for a brunch is skillet. Looks like a big pancake. Danny got her food. What did you get there? Steak, steak and eggs, french fries and grits. Enjoy. I got almost the same thing but except the grits. My mom got omelette and french fries. Wow, looks good. This is banned food. Looks very good. Let's enjoy it. A lot of food. I am hiding the duck here. Here you go. Good, job. <laughs> good luck. Let's see if somebody. Here is the ducky. Let's see if somebody pick up the duck. Here they said Dr. Luce is on the loose. I don't know what that means, but they have a party here. Dr. Suits is on the loose. I guess this party is for the kids. I guess this is a party for the kids. I don't know what that means. But they are all screaming that the sun is on the loose. Here it's the sculpture. They they make a sculpture on the ice. There it is. Watching the sculpture here. If you say that's a seahorse, you're correct. It's a seahorse. I guess it's a seahorse. I bought it. We are uh, hiding ducks somewhere, so let's see where Danny picked the place to hide the ducks. Okay. My mom decided to do work out the, on the elliptical with a beautiful sea view. She's got so much fun. <laughs> and she had the whole knee replaced two months ago. I'm working out here for an hour now. And I only lost 200 calories. So that is not fair. These ellipticals suck. <laughs> I'm working out on my knee and all everything everything is working out so i can go and have another pina colada hey guys for all our subscribers and everybody coming back welcome back to our channel in this video we're going to do a full ship tour of the carnival miracle i'm going to start up here on the sports deck and work my way down to the main floors so we're going to go floor by floor showing you all the restaurants and places to hang out in the public spaces. So come along with us and see what there is to do on the Carnival Miracle. 
So we're starting up here towards the front of the boat, up here on deck 11. This is the sports deck. They have a miniature golf course and a basketball, uh, basketball court. There we go, basketball court. And people are always playing and hanging out. People are playing miniature golf. Fun things to do while you're out at sea. Now we're gonna go all the way to the back of the ship and show you where the water slides are on the other deck. So now we're gonna go down to deck number 10 here. This is called the sun deck. So I just wanted to show you the covered pool here. Almost every cruise ships we've been on, they have at least one of their pools that can be completely covered over. So it's really nice in the winter. It can get so hot under that cover. So even a day like today, they actually have the last section open for some airflow but it's really nice to have the covered pool on these winter cruises. Always the classic whale tail on the carnival ships. Always cool, I love it. So now we're at the back of the boat here on deck 10 to show you the giant water slide here on the Carnival Miracle. Uh, basically it's a bunch of kids and middle-aged men acting like they're kids. I would include myself in the ladder. So it's a cool, fun water slide. This is the back of the sun deck. The end down there on deck number nine, the Lido deck, is the Serenity pool area. That's the adults only pool and hot tub. It is more busy there than anywhere else on this boat, I think, so. Sometimes you just go to the pool with the least number of people, I guess. All right, we're gonna continue our tour. So deck 10 here that we're on is just the sun deck. There's tons of chairs to sit out and tables. So we're gonna go down here to deck number nine. So decks 11 and 10 are the sun decks, the pools and the sports areas like the miniature golf. And there's just tons of these little seating areas. They're so nice just to hang out in all day. So back here at the Serenity Pool, there's also a bar. Opens, I think, a nine or 10. Now we're going into the Lido deck buffet area, the main dining room area here on the ship. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A couple hours a day, it closes down to reset the menu. But there's all sorts of food in here. There's a lot of specialty restaurants besides just like the salad bar for the buffet. There's also the deli where they make handmade sandwiches that are really good. They have a sushi spot here. Some of it's free, some of it you have to pay for. Rolls are like $8. It's actually really good. Uh, they got the pizza restaurant. Usually on most of the ships, it's open 24 hours a day. Really nice slice of uh, thin pizza. Carvery, the carving station there. The main buffet here is big. So that was sort of the first half of it. Now we're gonna go to the back half. Here, no, doesn't look like all of the buffet stations are open right now, but that's okay. This is called Chopsticks. It's the quick service American Asian food station. So there's all sorts of different uh, food stations in the buffet, from American to Asian, pizza, all sorts of good stuff. I think I'm missing some of them. So also here from the Lido buffet area. There's the stairwell that takes you up to the steakhouse right here in the middle of it. You can take this up to the steakhouse or you can also go from deck number 10. You can get in there as well. And looking our way towards the front boat, you have the blue iguana, tacos and burritos, really good. The blue iguana bar, you also have Guy's Burgers, which are delicious, but will give you some killer heartburn, but they are good hamburgers. And then you also have the Rum Runner Bar. All the bars here on the boat are basically the same. Some of them will carry some specialty drink. So this is the third deck now I've walked out onto. Also, I got the ping pong table here on deck nine as we make our way towards the front of the ship. We're gonna go inside here to show you the spa and the gym. This is the Cloud9 Spa. Let's see if I know how to get in. 
So this is inside the Cloud9 Spa. They do all sorts of services. You can get a haircut, you can get a massage, acupuncture, facials, all sorts of different spa services they offer at the Cloud9 Spa here. This should be leading back to the gym here. There it is. So there's actually a, like a relaxing area if you pay for the spa services. They give seminars and things like that. And we're going to the gym here. Here's the gym. It's really nice. Most of the gyms on Carnival Boats are out the front so you get a beautiful view while you work out. Really cool, lots of equipment, weight sets, cardio equipment. Actually, a lot of people in here working out. They're doing a, I think a reflexology or acupuncture seminar in there right now. You know, that's about as much use as I get out of the gym. Let's go check out the rest of the boat. So there's the Cloud9 Spa and gym. Uh, there's also a salon you can get your hair cut and all that. If you're wondering how much services are, I gotta tell you, I don't have a clue. I've never used a Cloud9 Spa, but I believe a massage is like $160 an hour. So inside right here, that's the spa. And then just on the outside of deck nine where the spa and the gym is, just part of the uh, walking track around the deck, I think. So I think this outdoor sort of walking track area also has tables and chairs when the People are laying out more, but it's pretty cold out right now in January. And just like that, we're back to the pool here. And I want to go and show you the steakhouse, which is up on steak, uh, deck 10 really quick too, before I go down to deck eight. So here it is, Nick and Nora's. It's sort of uh, in the middle of the boat up on deck 10. You get to it uh, right next to the blue, uh, blue iguana. You can see that's deck 10. You can also come in here as well or take the main elevators up. So this is Nick and Nora's restaurant. I think it's a $45 upcharge per person to come eat here. Uh, we have never done it. The upcharges used to be like 10 or 15, 20 dollars, but at $45 a person. I'd rather just go eat at the main dining room, but Look how nice and fancy all like the silverware and plateware is. Must be a really nice experience. It's beautiful too. So earlier I was talking about the stair. Well, that came up to Nick and Nora's. So that's the Lido Buffet. And this is the main atrium with the glass elevators. And way down there is deck two. And that's eventually where we're going to get to. Uh, well, I forgot to stop. Also on the front of the boat on deck 10 is all the kids clubs, like the O2 club. Um, so these are all your kids clubs from ages like potty trained up to 13 or 14, I believe. Uh, we checked out the basketball track. Nick and Nora's is where I'm next to now. Uh, the Waterworks Serenity Pool. This is where most of the food is here on deck nine. A lot of the quick service food is options or lunch options are here along with the spawn deck nine. Levels eight, seven, six, five are all just guest rooms and part of deck four is the Phantom Theater. Oh, here's the other two kids clubs, Camp Ocean and Camp and the Circle Cove seat. Those are the other ones. Phantom Theater, we're gonna go down here. So we're gonna hop down here to deck three and show you the rest of the public spaces. One of the first places we get to here is the bar. I believe this is the Alchemy Bar. Pour some really interesting drinks here. We also have the main gallery here where you can go and buy artwork and they do art auctions and things like that. We've never bought anything off the boat. I believe the paintings are all in the couple hundred dollar range, but I'm not really sure. But this is some of the artwork that's available at the auction. As we make towards the middle of the boat, they have all the photos you take. They're like $20 each. Uh, so we just stopped taking them because we always wanted to buy them, but couldn't stand paying $20 for a picture. So sometimes all of this is full up of people who took pictures. 
They also have what they call the studio. They'll do private studio sections to take pictures with. This is some of the sample catalog they have here. And we're at the second stairwell now. The one in the middle of the boat, sort of in the middle. As you can see, two of the stairwells are towards the back and then the one is up front by itself. We're renting the shops area. They're having some sales, watches, t-shirts, gold chain by the inch. We call it the yellow brick road where the shops are. Gifts, souvenirs. Lots of perfumes. Of course, they love to tell you how it's all duty free. Um, but if you ask me a lot, isn't really the greatest price point. But you can get all your Carnival Miracle mer uh, merchandise and souvenirs. There's a candy store on board. A lot of people have been wearing this, the Cruiser 1, Cruiser 2 thing. Carnival has like a deal with Dr. Seuss now. Of course, you can get liquor on the boat, but you don't get it until you get off the boat. It's basically like shopping at a duty-free store. And the prices aren't horrible at the uh, duty-free, but. So back here, there is the piano bar. This is called Sam's Piano Bar. They have a musician playing nightly in there. And then next to it is the warehouse, which is the video game arcade here on board. All sorts of loudness and kids playing. Don't need to go in there. <laughs> this is the back on deck three, the Phantom Theater. This is where they do the shows at night. There's one or two shows a night, depending. The singers and dancers usually right now. They do, they're doing bingo in here. They do other uh, games and they also do presentations in here. If I remember right, just outside, there's a really relaxing area just to the side here called the Gatsby's Garden. It's just very pretty and calm in here. Sorry. Just relax, read a book. Rarely, hardly anybody ever in here, and it's one of the prettiest places on the Carnival Miracle. All right, let's head down to deck number two now. So the first thing that you get to here on deck two is not only the Phantom Theater is here, but next to the Phantom Theater is the Mad Hatter Ball, which is the comedy club, which is really nice on this boat. The comedy club and the showroom are right next to each other. It has this cool Alice in Wonderland theme in it. And usually there's between one and three comedy shows a night. They last about a half hour. It's a really nice venue, but I do tell you, when a comedian is good, this place will be absolutely packed 30 to 40 minutes before the performance. And if you're not here 15 minutes beforehand, you will not find a seat. So working our way back on deck two here, you got the Joker, which is the game room. Tons of people playing games in there. You also have Blue Java, which is their little Starbucks. You can get a a latte, a cappuccino, Bailey's coffee there, really nice. It's another lounge area. They do piano playing and a lot of trivia here. This is my favorite bar, the Skybox. That's their sports book bar. A really nice place to watch a football or a hockey game. I watched my Buffalo Bills lose in the divisional round again, unfortunately, on the first day on the boat. And this is the Red Frog Bar. Tons of different bar games in here to play. They do live music in here. Lots of drinking goes on here. It's just a fun place to come and hang out, play these silly little bar games. Let's see if I can uh, get the ring on here. Nope. 
So they do have like an internet cafe area in case you need to go online and you didn't buy the internet package. Um, so you can get online, it tells you how much it is to use it, print things. And now we're into Mr. Lucky's Casino. So the casino here is a middle of the ship. It's only open while they're out to sea. I believe you have to be 21 and over to gamble. Maybe 18, but I don't think so. Um, table games, slot machines, all sorts of ways to lose your money. I would suggest if you're gonna gamble, bring money, cash with you on the boat. Uh, you can get cash off of your sail and sign card, but I believe they charge three or four percent to do it. Uh, there's an ATM on board and it's a seven dollar fee and the most you can get out I think is four hundred dollars. So there's lots of just lounges and seating areas on the boat just to hang out. We're in the main atrium now, the main bar on deck two. This is where you'll get on the ship, either through these doors right here or those doors over there. A lot of people like to camp here, play cards, hang out. That's guest services. If you need to get a new room card or to change something on your account, the adventure desk is where you can go to book excursions or talk to somebody about booking excursions or if you have any questions. So this is the back of the boat, right next to the main dining room again. I'm not sure who gets to eat in that dining room, the Ari. I'm not even sure who or what it's for, but it's never been open. Maybe it's just employees. Uh, the Frankenstein Lab, that is the nightclub. It opens, I think, at 10 or 10.30. Never been inside, always asleep by then. And once again, we're at the back of the boat at the Buckus Dining Room. This is the first and the late seating. Uh, usually is on the floor two, and the anytime dining is on deck three. All right, so one more thing to know, this very important machine, this is how you can look at your bill, look at your sailing sign, or use cash to pay off your account. I really recommend using this machine opposed to going to guest services, especially on the last or the second to last day, uh, because guest services is a nightmare. So if you think you have any problems on your account or you think there's a bad charge on it, do it before the last day, especially in the morning, and probably do it in the morning the day before you de-embark. So another helpful hint about the casino is you have to cash out only while the casino is open. So don't forget to cash out your chips before you leave the casino. It's the easiest way to never walk home with them. So one of the things that a lot of people like to do for fun is they decorate their cabin doors with why they're here, their special trip. Sort of fun to do if you're looking to add a little something fun to your trip. So we're just getting ready to go out to dinner. Just wanted to show you this absolutely beautiful sunset. It's one of the reasons I love cruising is there's so many beautiful sunsets and sunrises out on the open ocean. So we're gonna take you with us tonight to show you the activities at night, what we like to do, and at least try to tell you some of the other activities that we are not gonna do. Like we're missing karaoke right now at the Red Frog Pub. And that's because none of us can sing. So we're gonna go to dinner again and the show. So another really popular activity on any cruise ship is karaoke. It is no different here. It is absolutely packed at the Red Frog right now. I'm trying to keep you away from the music, but they're up singing their hearts out. It's not our cup of tea, but if you love karaoke, especially if you can't sing, that's your place. So we're just waiting to go to dinner here. Just enjoying a drink and talking and hanging out. Coffees? So I know it sort of sounds funny, but on your last day, if you get the drink package, you gotta get your coffee at night because in the morning, your drink package don't work no more. Bye guys. So the art gallery is open now. So I just wanted to show you the art gallery. Really some interesting paintings statues. We have some Lion King themed ones right now. Marvel. Really pretty stuff. Oh, this is cool. There's draft. So, I think every ship has an art gallery on it as well. I haven't been on a ship that doesn't have one. And I have no idea if they're a good price or a value or not, but if you like it, buy it. And if you don't, don't. Ooh, dinner time. I'm hungry. 
And they have one of my favorite soups tonight, the steak cheddar soup. Here we go. I'm with them. It's my favorite dining room. I love the purple in here. Right. You know, even if you have a cheese, Danny. Cheers. Cheers, Danny. Cheers, Danny. Cheers, Danny. Cheers, Danny. Cheers, Danny. Cheers, Danny. Cheers, Cheers, Danny. 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 You want to try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, chocolate malted cake. Uh, I'm pretty sure I covered everything in the public areas, and I hope you enjoy your next cruise. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.